हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप ऑल आर डूइंग गुड जॉब एट होम लुक हियर स्टूडेंट्स वॉट इज इन माई हैंड यस दीज आर यूर फेवरेट थिंग्स दीज आर बिस्किट्स वी ऑल लव बिस्किट्स वेरी मच एवरी वन लाइक्स टू ईट बिस्किट यू एन्जॉय यूर बिस्किट इन द मॉर्निंग विथ योर टी कॉफी और मिल्क you get you, you get biscuits in your tiffin also and you also have biscuits in your evening snacks everyone likes biscuit because they are crispy and tasty we also call biscuits as cookies we get different types of biscuits in the shop look here we see different types of biscuits and they are also in colorful packets we also get biscuits in different shape do you know students where are your favorite biscuits made yes they are made in a factory factory is a building or group of building where goods are manufactured have you seen any factory no then come with me here we are this is a factory so big building isn't it it has so many machines which helps to prepare food items but students how are biscuits made in a factory any idea no idea then let's find out so students today we are going to learn and enjoy how your favorite biscuits made in a factory so students here our next lesson is in a biscuit factory in which we are going to learn the process of making biscuits so let's learn step by step step number 1 here it is get a recipe here we see a new word recipe recipe means the instructions for cooking or preparing something to eat म्हणजेच एखादा अन्न पदार्थ शिजवण्यासाठी किंवा बनवण्यासाठी ज्या काही सूचना दिलेल्या असतात म्हणजेच थोडक्यात आपण त्याला पाककृती असे म्हणतो एव्हरी फूड आयटम वी हॅव टू नो द रेसिपी फर्स्ट विथ द हेल्प ऑफ द रेसिपी वी कम टू नो विच थिंग्स वी नीड फॉर कुकिंग हाऊ मच टाईम इट विल टेक फॉर कुकिंग अँड द परफेक्ट मेजरमेंट ऑफ इच आयटम्स वी नीड फॉर कुकिंग एट्सेट्रा इफ यू फॉलो द रेसिपी द फूड आयटम बिकम्स टेस्टी अँड डिलिशियस अँड अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज हिअर गेट द इनग्रेडियंट्स दॅट गो इन अ बिस्किट here we see a new word ingredients ingredients means the food items which we use which we need for cooking or preparing something to eat म्हणजे एखादा अन्न पदार्थ शिजवण्यासाठी किंवा बनवण्यासाठी लागणारी सामग्री लागणार साहित्य यालाच आपण इनग्रेडियंट्स असं म्हणतो विथ द हेल्प ऑफ इनग्रेडियंट्स वी वी कॅन कुक टेस्टी फूड without ingredients we can't cook cook do you remember students in third standards we have learned a recipe which which was that yes it was making of banana delight very good and for making banana delight we need some things some ingredients which are they very good they are bananas sugar and milk with the help of these three ingredients we made we made banana banana delight like this in biscuit in uh, for making biscuits we also need some ingredients and they are as flour milk butter sugar salt baking powder etc with the help of this Uh, ingredients we can make biscuits so le- let's move to the another step and our next step is weigh each ingredient in the process of making biscuit we first get the recipe then we get all the ingredients and with the help uh, when we get all ingredients we have to 
with all the ingredients means we have to measure all the ingre ingredients we have to decide the weight of all ingredients if we have the perfect measurement of ingredients the food items becomes tasty so it is very important to weight all ingredients so our next step is mix the things and make a dough after weighing after measuring the ingredients we have to mix all the ingredients look at this picture here we see a big bowl and in this big bowl they are mixing the ingredients we uh, we get the ingredients for biscuits are uh, flour sugar butter milk baking powder etc and they all are mixing in this big bowl and they are going to make a dough from all the ingredients here we see a new word dough dough means a mixture of uh, water uh, flour etc for um, used for baking into bread manje poya kiwa pav karnya sathi वापरले जाणारे पीठ पाणी यांचे केलेले मिश्रण यालाच आपण कणिक असे म्हणतो त्यालाच इंग्लिशमध्ये डो असे म्हणतात म्हणजे डो चा अर्थ इथे कणिक असा आहे सो दिस इज अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टू मिक्स ऑल द इन्ग्रेडियंट्स अँड मेक अ डो फ्रॉम दिस इन्ग्रेडियंट्स ॲट होम और मदर मेक्स अ डो फॉर मेकिंग चपातीज शी युजेस फ्लॉर वॉटर अँड साल अँड मिक्स मिक्सेस ऑल द इन्ग्रेडियंट्स अँड मेक्स अ डो फॉर मेकिंग चपाती सो अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज हिअर नीड द डो हिअर वी सी द न्यू वर्ड नीड नीड मीन्स टू प्रेस और स्क्वीज द डो विथ हँड्स म्हणजेच याला आपण मराठीमध्ये कणिक मळणे असं म्हणतो ॲट होम वी सी मदर मिक्सेस फ्लॉर वॉटर सॅल्ट अँड मेक्स अ डो अँड आफ्टर मेकिंग अ डो सी नीड्स दॅट डो नीड्स मीन्स शी मेक्स दॅट डो स्मूथ शी मेक्स इट स्मूथ इन फॅक्टरी देर आर बिग मशीन्स फॉर नीडिंग द डो लुक हिअर here is a big machine and it is needing the dough needing dough is very important thing because if the dough is not needed well then uh, our biscuits will uh, will become hard so needing dough is very important and after needing the dough our next step is roll out the dough here we see a new word roll out roll out means to become flatter or thinner by pressure with the rolling pin manje sala ap marathi madhe apan mhanto ki latne poya latne at home we see that uh, mother uh, kneads the dough uh, very well and then uh, she uh, she takes uh, some part from the dough and makes the ball and after making the ball she flattens that balls with the help of rolling pin such as like this in the factory there are big rolling pin machines and with the help of this rolling pin they flatten the dough and uh, makes it thinner after that the next step is cut out the dough into biscuit shapes in this step after flatten the uh, dough we have to cut the dough in a biscuit shape we see different types of uh, biscuit shapes some are uh, rectangle circle uh, or uh, square heart shape etc we see in biscuits these shapes we see in biscuits and uh, in factories there are big machines look at this picture there is a big machine which makes the dough dough which cuts the dough into a biscuit shape here we see this 
Now let's move to the next step. Next step is here bake the dough shapes in an oven. Here we see a new word bake. Bake means to cook by dry heat especially in an oven. Manjits bake manjits bhajne. Especially in an oven. Oven means a box like equipment with a door. Uh, ovens are used for uh, roasting and heating the food items. Uh, in oven uh, we have to set the time. Look here. Here we see oven. These ovens are uh, used at home. The, this is a small oven. But in factories we see a big ovens. After cutting the biscuits into biscuit shape, they are they are sent to the to an oven for baking. After that, the next step is cool the ready biscuits. It is very important step. In an oven, the biscuit should be kept for cooling. This is an important step. When uh, when the biscuits came from uh, oven, they are hot and smooth. So, we can't touch them immediately. So, it is very important step to cool the ready biscuits. After cooling the biscuits, the, our next step is see if the biscuits are done or baked properly. Means we, we have to check the biscuits if they are baked properly. If the biscuits are overcooked, they will become firm up while cooling. So this is an important. We have to check them properly. And then our next step is pack the biscuits into packets. Now it's a packing time. In packing, we have to decide the design of packing first. Packing also allows for the display of information regarding the type, weight, contents, manufacture of the product, expiry date of the product, etc. And we must check the expiry date while buying the food packets. So, after that, the biscuits are packed into colorful packets. And after that, they are store and sell the packets. After packing biscuits, they are sent to store. After packing the biscuit, they store them and uh, it, they are ready for selling. After all this long process, we get our favorite biscuit. And these are the steps of baking, making biscuit. And the steps are here. First, get the recipe. Then get the ingredients. Then decide how much we need each ingredient. After that, mix all the ingredients and make a dough. And then knead the dough. After kneading the dough, roll out the dough. After rolling out, uh, we have to cut the dough into biscuit shape. And after cutting, they are sent to the sent for baking in an oven. After baking, they come from uh, oven. After that, we have to cool them. After cooling the biscuits, we have to check the biscuit if they are baked properly. After checking, they are sent to packing. They are sent for packing. And uh, after packing, they are ready for selling. This is a process of making biscuits. Do you enjoy it? Good. Now it's time for difficult words. Students, I will tell you difficult words and you have to repeat after me. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. R E C I P E Recipe Next word is I N G R E D I E N T S Ingredients 
नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज डी ओ यू जी एच डो वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज के एन ई ए डी नीड द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज आर ओ एल एल ओ यू टी रोल आउट नेक्स्ट इज बी ए के ई बेक एंड द लास्ट वर्ड इज ओ व्ही ई एन आवान Now you have to write all these words in your notebook five times. Okay? Got it? Now it's time for an activity. For this activity, children, please open your English book, page number 30 and 31. Good. Now I will tell about the activity. The name of the activity is find the step in which i will tell you one step from the uh, any one step from the given steps of making biscuits and you have to find where you see that step in your textbook okay are you ready good then find the step uh, cool the ready biscuits Where do you see this step? Yes, very good. This is on page number thirty-one in the upside corner. Very nice. Now I will tell you another step, and the another step is roll out the dough. Please, where do you see this step? Good. We see this step on page number thirty-one in the downside corner. Very good. Now it's a homework time. You have to write all the steps from page number thirty and thirty-one in your notebook.